perfect survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. Cold enough for you? It's never cold enough for Crazy Neil. Ice in me veins. <laughs> Back home, I used to spend summers at McMurdo Base in Antarctica. Long family tradition. My great-great-great-great-grandfather took part in Operation Deep Freeze, and my great-great-great-great-grandmother was a penguin. Now that's a joke, son. You understand? I want to be clear. There ain't nothing funny about sex in a penguin. Not even if they're begging for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cute little bastards, but temperamental. Kind of bitchy, matter of fact, but say what you will about them, they hardly ever try to eat your head. You know not to eat the snow, right? seem like too much of a Nevik toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. Here we are in a turf war with these acrid, day-to-day, hour-to-hour, but if we put weapons on a raid, oh no, then we're not a science op, but a military op, and Braddock doesn't get to be in charge. Like anyone's gonna rat him out for letting us protect ourselves. Barometric damper in East Block is still malfunctioning and we're not getting any younger. Room and Spatter, East Block immediately. Nevik survival tip number six. Never stray from your umbilical in sub-zero temperatures. The umbilical field provides supplemental power to your environment suit, increasing your level of warmth and powering tactical readouts that your suit's battery could otherwise not support. Stay smart. Stay close. It's your turn to clean out the ice from the drainage culvert. Stop hiding.
Jinx, we need you in the CAD at Delta Station. A small avalanche blocked the elevator up in Corona, so you'll have to take a long way. Sorry, Hutch. Nevic survival tip number two. Heat hazard warnings. All Nevic approved vehicles and utility rigs are equipped with hazard sensors designed to keep you aware of potential dangers in the environment. Do not consider these warnings advice. Consider them gospel. Stay aware. Stay alive. Benedetti, it's your turn to clean out the ice from the drainage culvert. Stop hiding. I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. to forgive my brother. He's not a morning person and it's been morning here for three months. My brother, he always do watch. Always jokes, always joke. Norm, Norm, Norm. Anyway, welcome to Coronas. We're a skeleton crew right now, but that'll change as soon as we can prove T-Energy's a cost-effective power source. Oh, and if you ever need toilet paper, I'm your man. TP is like gold around here. You remember that. Thanks. You take care. I kill a hug right now, I'm telling you. I kill, kill with an echo. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but... Yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know. I hear it all the time. Girl's name. Shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood. I read you. Listen, kid. <laughs> Gail. How about we do the get to know you while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. It was 
shipped ahead in pieces. Now that I'm here, we can build it. <laughs> um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Come again? It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat... Kid, went... listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. spirit of artistic creation. I was at breakfast and Colbeck had come up with these griddle cakes made out of vital wheat gluten or something and it got me thinking about the corn my folks used to grow when they still had their farm on Olympus One. And I was saying how I couldn't have been more than ten but I built this thing called a cornipole. But it's really more of a slingshot and then I realized nobody was at the table anymore so I came out here and I installed some current retractors on the new guy's rig. It's like a human cornipole, see? Except, you know, kind of not. Hope you don't mind. I should get some coffee. Or sleep. Yeah, sleep's good. Yeah, coffee's better. If it's at all reassuring, Jeanette was always happy with my upgrades. Said I had great instincts. This would be the Jeanette that got herself killed? You may not want to make that the crux of your argument. Not gonna lie. That was a little dickish. Yeah, I'm the youngest on the base. By a lot. But Braddock says that's the beauty of an open frontier. Pure meritocracy. He actually taught me that word. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife, top of the line for up-close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity, synthetic stock and forearm. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie.
Jim's heading out, so let's prep the rig, people! this though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the cockpit express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop. And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Watch it, kid. Notice how much faster your arm's swinging? Just a little gift from yours truly. Okay, just a few more tests. Now the drill. Great. Lastly, I upgraded the shielding on your rig's bracers to class four. Try a defensive posture. Mm, beautiful. You'll be using that move here on EDN3 more than you have probably on any other job. Sweet, we're done. Let's release your rig. Be free! LaRoche, come in. Corona's base to LaRoche, do you copy? God damn it, we can't lose LaRoche now. We barely have Diaz replaced. Hey, Chief. Jim Payton here, you copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Peyton. You've got your first assignment. Good luck. 